Hello everyone, welcome back to Al Samor. Now in today's episode, I wanted to focus on Al Samir, which is the little island city over here. And um, I wanted to show you guys some of the expansion that I have done off camera, which you might have seen in the previous episode. So there has been quite a lot of expansion, especially the modern areas. And in this video, we are going to continue on with a little bit more of that expansion. But the main focus of this video is, first of all, to look at the new um, canal bridge pack which I think is really cool and then also to do the expansion between the older area and the new area so it's going to be a real mixture area but we have to make sure we do it basically in we have to be careful because it has to kind of slowly transition from the older area into the newer area so we have to do that and it I, I've been wanting to do this area for quite some time I recently came across these little canal bridges. I'll put them in my asset list below. I just think they're really cool. The only thing, when I first saw them, I thought, oh my God, are they actually going to be animated? Are they going to work? But unfortunately, no, they're just a prop or a little building that you place down over the canal. But there, there are a few different types, which is really cool. But the main reason why I wanted to actually have a look at these is because first of all, Al Samir is a canal city so it is realistic to have something like this but also I think it was really important that we have something like this just to fill in that space between one bit of terrain and the other so we have the canals going everywhere and we just have ordinary bridges so by adding in all of these whatever you want to call them draw bridges little boat bridges whatever you like it just adds something else and it just fills in the space a little bit more if that makes sense so i think in the pack there's three or four different ones there's smaller ones which you can just place down on the canal which you can just move around with the move it mod and then there was a bigger one but unfortunately with the bigger one you have to place it down on a roadside which really it's like why that doesn't make any sense to me and i have been asking the city skyline people for so long can you please make proper draw bridges because if we have a canal a lot of us would like to put the ferry going through the canal but we can't put the ferry because we have we have low-lying bridges and if we are going to do a ferry and we're going to do bridges the bridge has to be put up so high and it's just it looks really out of place so but I don't think they're ever going to implement something like that but it would be so cool if they did and it would actually make canal cities realistic but I mean, this is as close as we're going to get. So I just really wanted to explore these. I'm pretty sure they just came out on the Steam Workshop not too long ago. If you do choose to download this pack, it should come with the little road. So you'll notice I've been updating the bridges to this very generic looking road. And the reason why you have to put down that road, well, you don't have to, but one good thing about it is that it doesn't have any fences or guidelines. So when you put down the, the prop that I'm putting down here, you can see that there's actual proper side like fences, there's wires and things like that. Whereas if you use a normal bridge, those bridges naturally have fences, barriers, things like that. But if you use the other one, then there's just the the one instead of doing two. So it looks a lot better like that. And actually, oddly enough, the coloring of it fits in with the whole city as well. The speed limit on that bridge though, it is like 20, 20 kilometers an hour, which is pretty slow. Um, so you might want to update that if you want it to be a little bit more faster. So here we are having a good look at everything before we get into the building. You can see I filled in a lot of the spaces on the, the right side of the older buildings. But I really just want to focus on this space here and just fill it in. <laughs> That's all I want to do. It's been annoying me for so long. I've been in ignoring this whole area for a really long time. So we need to get all of this done. So then once it's all built, then we can really start changing things around, putting public transport, changing the traffic around and just managing everything and really implementing all these different techniques. You know, all of that really 
good stuff. Now, one thing that I like to do here, which I don't know why people always call me out for this, but I zone the area, put down the residential space, and I put the district as the, the Maltese pack. So then they can just build out, and then it saves me so much time Instead of having to place down every single building myself, if I just zone it and let them build up themselves, um, then what I do is I'll come along and place down other buildings and I can just pretty much just move them all into place instead of plopping them down. It just saves so much time. Now, since we have a intersection here, I, I don't know why, um, but I really just, I like to put plazas and just open space at intersections. I think it's just it is a common thing but I just like to do it a lot um, so some seeding areas some planters some trees and just putting down a lot of space for them to walk it really just opens up the area as well I think it has something to do with the fact that intersections accumulate a lot more traffic so naturally I just want to open up the area and not overcrowd it too much so I've just let them finish zoning pretty much that's all that's going to pop up at that point so by doing that, that saved me already five or ten minutes. And then you can see I come along here and I place down a whole bunch of buildings. So I've gone on the, the workshop and I've downloaded the Arabic pack, which has a lot of residential buildings. I didn't put down too much commercial because uh, the commercial in the area was already saying that they don't have enough buyers. So I think uh, we definitely don't need to put too much more. I put down just a couple, this is like corner, corner stores, but other than that, I don't put down too much uh, commercial. A little bit of offices, but I also put in all of our essentials, so schools, hospitals, things like that. But I make sure it's all blended in and you can't really see it because I don't want it to be super obvious. I want it to look really crowded. I also chose to delete that canal that goes through the middle there. Um, that one right there. So you'll see at the end, I go I'll show you guys everything at this very soon, but yeah, deleting that middle canal really made such a big difference because I think I had too many little canals, too many islands. It was just a little bit too much. So by deleting that middle canal just made that one bigger island look so much better. Also, you can see here I'm updating some of the roads. The reason being is because those grey roads are pedestrian only roads. So the original idea for this whole city was to have a lot of pedestrian friendly roads, which we still have so many, but we also have about 40,000 people living on this island so far. So it's really important that we establish some kind of main roads going through these new suburban areas, but there are still so many pedestrian only roads but I just really needed to make sure that we have some type of main road and also this road that I'm putting down allows parking so by doing that it makes the areas look more lived in instead of just having them blank um, but you guys know I really like to see parking everywhere. So just finishing up this little plaza here at the intersection, um, this is the space that we worked on in the last episode about the elevated bypass road which I think looks so good, but um, I did cut out a lot because, I mean, do you guys really need to see me putting down trees? Or <laughs> So we're going to cut to the end and just have a look at everything, have an overall look and of course I want feedback from you guys in terms of just this whole island in general. Um, I hope that I have made the transition area between the old and the new. I hope it looks good in everyone else's opinion. I think it looks all right. And um, I just wanted to give you, give you guys also a bit of a close-up look of the areas that we've worked on, some of the areas that I worked on off camera. And um, yeah, just basically show you guys what this city looks like a little bit closer up.
have a look at those canal bridges. They Those look so cool. And I don't even mind that there's the old wood, wooden area in the, the canal because it, it adds that extra layer and makes it look a little bit more in depth. So we're looking in this direction. If we go over here, we can see we've got the older areas, then it slowly transitions into the higher modern areas. But I didn't want to make the modern area too high. I'm even considering moving reducing some of those because or deleting some of those because they are quite high i'm not sure if it fits in with the island it could be just too high but this is our newer area where it slowly transitions from the old to the new so you can see we have a lot of the older style buildings and then the higher buildings slowly start popping up but they're all medium density and i had to make sure they're pretty much all the same color you can see there's one green one that's not the right color but yes ah oh, look at that it looks so good a lot of big open roads because there is going to be a lot of traffic coming through here once this whole island is complete. Um, I purposely wanted all of the road systems to be like all over the place and um, it looks really good but I hope you guys enjoyed all of this. I know it's a quick video but that's alright. I just mainly wanted to show what I've done off camera. We've put in a lot of older areas off camera, newer areas, the transition areas, medium density, high density, it's all there and I just really wanted to show you guys and I think it's turning out really well. Um, maybe I'm liking this area the most, I don't know, but yeah, I really like the beaches, the water colors, the little mountain in the background. You can see I've actually added some islands in the background. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that, but the reason why I added some back some islands in the background is because I didn't like always looking out and seeing the edge of the map which I really don't like how it slopes and I know you can turn on the fog but the fog doesn't look that good in my opinion so putting some islands out there just hides that yucky uh, edge of map look but anyway I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> and um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video just a few other little clips of what we've worked on and I'll catch you guys in the next episode